Welcome to Basketball U. If you're new to Basketball U, make sure you slam dunk that subscribe button. And just to make sure you don't miss a thing, make sure you tap that notification bell right after you hit that subscribe button. Basketball U. We are back in this thing, ready to give you another player that came into the league with a bang. But before we get into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But most of all, tell someone about Basketball U that wants to learn the game. Today's player was a three-point specialist, NCAA champion, NBA champion, NBA All-Star MVP, Basketball U family, meet Glenn Rod. Rice played college basketball for the University of Michigan Wolverines for four seasons, a starter for three of those seasons. He became the school's all-time leading scorer with 2,442 points. He led Michigan to the 1989 NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Championship, scoring an NCAA record of 184 points in tournament play, a record that still stands. Rice was also voted the tournament's most outstanding player and was part of the Associated Press All-America second team after averaging 25.6 points for the season while shooting 58% from the floor and 52% from three-point range. After Rice's junior year, he was invited to try out for the 1988 United States Olympic basketball team, but was cut before reaching the group of 48. On February 20th, 2005, Rice's number 41 jersey was retired during the ceremony at Michigan's Chrysler Arena, now known as Chrysler Center. Rice made the cover of Sports Illustrated on April 10th, 1989. Rice continues to rank among Michigan's all-time leaders in several statistical categories, including first in men's career points, first in single season points, first in single season field goals made, First in single season field goal attempts, first in single season three point field goal percentage, second in career field goals made, and second in single season three point field goals made. Rice started his senior season as a projected mid first round selection, but his stock rose due to his record breaking performance in the NCAA tournament, and he was selected number four overall in the 1989 NBA draft by the Miami Heat. The Heat was an expansion team in the NBA and was now in their second year in need of some offensive help after finishing last in the NBA in points per game in 1988-89 season. Joining other young players such as Sherman Douglas and Ronnie Sakley, Rice would be called upon to deliver some of the scoring load despite being a rookie. Starting in 60 games, Rice averaged 13.6 points per game his rookie season just behind Douglas and Seekley. But the lottery bound Heat only won 18 games. The following year only saw a modest improvement for the team from 18 wins to 24 wins. But Rice started in every game he played and increased his scoring load to 17.4 points a game while leading the team in three point field goals with 71. The 1991-92 season would prove to be a breakthrough season for Rice and the Heat, as the team improved to 38 wins and featured other young players, such as Steve Smith and Brian Shaw. By now, Rice had become the team's leading scorer and averaged 22.3 points a game, with 155 three-point field goals, second in the league, leading the Heat to its first playoff series in which the young team was swept by the defending champion Chicago Bulls, led by Michael Jordan. Despite this, the Heat won fewer games the following year, while Rice's scoring average slipped to 19 as the scoring load of Seekley and Smith increased. Rice averaged 21.1 points a game in the 1993-94 season and led the Heat back into the playoffs 
into their first ever playoff game win against the Atlanta Hawks. But the Heat were unable to win the hard fought first round series in which the Hawks prevailed three games to two. In the 1994-95 season, Rice averaged 22.3 points a game, 10th in the league, and made 185 three-point shots, 6th in the league. Despite not being selected to play in the annual NBA All-Star game, Rice participated in the NBA All-Star Long Distance Shootout at the 1995 All-Star game in Phoenix and won the contest, edging out another sharpshooter, Reggie Miller. Later during the season in a nationally televised game against Shaquille O'Neal and Orlando Magic, he scored a career-high 56 points on 20 of 27 shots from the floor, including seven three-pointers. The 56 points were an NBA season high for the 1994-95 season. Despite his success, the Heat was unable to make the playoffs. Days before the start of the 1995-96 season, newly hired coach slash GM Pat Riley organized a trade in which Rice was sent to the Charlotte Hornets. Along with Matt Geiger, in exchange for a disgruntled Hornet center, Alonzo Mourning, who refused any contract negotiations. The Hornets paired Rice with high scoring forward Larry Johnson, and the two led the team to 41 wins. Rice led the team in scoring with 21.6 points a game, and led his team in three point field goals with 171, and three point shooting percentage 42. He was also named to play in the 1996 NBA All-Star Game, but the Hornets failed to make the playoffs. It would be the 1996-97 season in which Rice would earn the distinction of an elite player in the league. The Hornets had acquired veteran players Vladi Divac and Anthony Mason and no longer featured Johnson, and also hiring a new head coach and NBA legend Dave Cowan. Rice averaged 26.8 points a game during the season, placing him third in the league in scoring while leading the league in three-point shooting with 47% and minutes played. His play earned him his second straight All-Star Game election and at the 1997 NBA All-Star Game set an individual All-Star Game records of 20 points in the third quarter and 24 points in the second half to finish with 26 points for the game. His 8 out of 11 shooting performance, including 4 out of 5 three-point shooting and his 20 points in the third quarter, broke Philadelphia guard Hal Greer's record, which was 19, set in 1968. By scoring 24 and a half, Rice surpassed the previous mark of 23, owned by Wilt Chamberlain and Tom Chambers. Rice's performance is listed on the NBA's 57 memorable All-Star moments. His performance helped the Eastern Conference win the game and earned him the NBA All-Star Game Most Valuable Player Award. The Hornets won 54 games and made it to the 1997 playoffs, where they were swept 3-0 by the New York Knicks in the first round. Rice would average 22.3 points in the game, 8th in the league, during the 1997-98 season, finishing 2nd in the league in minutes played and scoring 16 points in the 1998 All-Star Game. The Hornets won 51 games. In the first round of the 1998 playoffs, they managed to win a playoff series, defeating the Atlanta Hawks before losing to the defending champion Chicago Bulls in the second round. The 1998-99 season would start late and last only 50 games due to a league lockout. And on March 10, 1999, the Hornets traded Rice to the Los Angeles Lakers. Rice was again traded in exchange for fan favorite Eddie Jones and Eldon Campbell. The trade did not immediately sit well with Laker fans, but Rice was considered the last piece of the puzzle for the Lakers to return to the NBA Finals. Rice was leaving the Hornets team in turmoil with many players demanding trades coming out of a four-month lockout. Coach Cowens had re-signed, Anthony Mason was out for the year, Rice was coming back from an elbow injury that he needed to have surgery on, and the owner was in legal trouble. The trade to the Lakers made Rice the third scorer behind Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant, a trio that general manager and Laker legend Jerry West envisioned would bring the Los Angeles another NBA championship. The Lakers were swept by the San Antonio Spurs in the 1999 playoffs, but Rice averaged 18 points per game. Before the 1999-2000 season, the Lakers hired head coach Phil Jackson, who had won six NBA championships with the Chicago Bulls teams that featured Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. The Lakers also acquired veterans such as Ron Harper, 
A.C. Green, as well as Rice's former Miami teammates, John Sally and Brian Shaw. Led by the player of O'Neal, who won the MVP award for the season, and the all-star player Bryant, the Lakers won 67 games for first place in the Western Conference. Rice started in 80 games and averaged 15.9 points as the team's third option with 84 three-point shots for first on the Lakers. In the 2000 playoffs, Rice averaged 12.4 points per game while shooting 41% from beyond the three-point arc, a career best for the playoffs. The Lakers defeated the Sacramento Kings, Phoenix Suns, and Portland Trailblazers in the first three rounds of the playoffs en route to advance into the 2000 Finals to play the Indiana Pacers. In the second game of the Finals, Bryan suffered an ankle injury and Rice scored 21 points to help the Lakers take a 2-0 lead in the series. Rice would average 11.5 points a game for the series, including 16 points with three shots from three-point range in Game 6 as the Lakers defeated the Pacers four games to two to give Rice his first and only NBA championship. Although the Lakers had won the championship, a lot of drama had unfolded behind the scenes between Rice, head coach Phil Jackson, and general manager Jerry West since the time between getting swept by the Spurs and the eventual championship. There was a report that Rice was upset when the Lakers exercised a $7 million option for 1999-2000 instead of letting him become a free agent. Shaquille O'Neal, Rice's close friend, believed that Rice was the pure shooter he needed to keep teams from double and triple teaming them in the playoffs and felt partly responsible for bringing Rice to the Lakers and trading Eddie Jones to do it. In the end, Rice was not able to win the hearts of Los Angeles fans after being traded for fan favorite Eddie Jones with many suspect defense and Rice's inability to perform in the triangle offense. As a result, the disgruntled Rice was eventually traded to the New York Knicks. In New York, Rice would take on a six-man role on the team and provide the Knicks with well-needed support off the bench. In the 2000-2001 season, he played in 72 games, averaging 12 points per game. Rice made 25 starts, averaging 14.2 points and 5.2 rebounds in those games, and led the Knicks in scoring nine games. While Rice's defense is often singled out as the reason for his departure, he ranks 145th among all-time NBA players in career steals, with 958. His tenure with the Knicks lasted only one year as he was hobbled by a foot injury and was unable to find a niche in New York behind Allen Houston and Latrell Sprewell. After the season in which the Knicks lost in five games to the Toronto Raptors in the first round of the 2001 playoffs, he would eventually be traded to the Houston Rockets for Shandon Anderson. In Houston, Rice joined a young team featuring Steve Francis and Cutino Mobley and was initially excited about returning to a starting role after being regulated to more of a third option with both the Lakers and Knicks. Things started slowly in Houston as Rice was still on the mend, rehabbing from his foot injury, which limited him to only 20 games in the 2001-02 season. The following year, he would manage to play in 62 games, including 26 starts to average 9 points per game in for a Rockets team that now featured center Yao Ming. In the 2003 season, he would be traded to Utah Jazz for John Amici, but would then sign with the Los Angeles Clippers. A knee injury ultimately derailed and eventually brought Rice's career to an end. In his final season with the Clippers, he became the 48th player in NBA history to score 18,000 career points. Fittingly, it was on February 18, 2004 against the Lakers, and he will retire after playing just 18 games. Despite of his injuries that occurred real late in his career, Glenn Rice still managed to get things done as a role player. From becoming a champion with the Los Angeles Lakers, to becoming a three-time NBA All-Star, to being one of Michigan's best, not even the amount of trades can hold him back from being a well-played small forward in the NBA. This is Basketball You. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, follow all of our social medias right there in the description to keep yourself up to date as this channel will have a lot of basketball, a lot of players, and a lot of training 
and more information on how to play the game of basketball. Remember, someone's always working. Are you? You? You?